Next, new consumer protections for cell phone users. Ray Suarez has the story. Most people who own a cell phone purchase a plan with limits on how long they can talk on the phone, how much they can text or use the web. But customers often go beyond those limits and end up with a higher than expected monthly bill. Today, the wireless industry, under pressure from the Federal Communications Commission, announced new voluntary guidelines requiring companies to send customers alerts before they exceed their limits. The FCC proposed such rules last year, then held off on implementing them under the new agreement. Julius Janikowski is the chair of the FCC, and he joins me now. Mr. Chairman, what's Bill Shock, and what was the FCC looking for in the way of customer protection? Well, Bill Shock is what happens when uh, you open up your bill at the end of the month and you see a very, very large charge that comes from exceeding one of those limits that you just mentioned. And do we have any reliable numbers on how often people do this over the course of a year? We've done a survey. Consumers Union d uh, did a survey last year. Uh, as, many out of, as many as one out of five Americans, so literally tens of millions of Americans, experience bill shock, charges of hundreds or even thousands of dollars that come from uh, unknowingly exceeding data limits, or uh, traveling to a foreign country and incurring very high international roaming charges. Well, your agency was about to announce new limits, then held off. Why? Well, our goal was to solve this consumer problem. Uh, and we said from the start that technology provided an easy solution. Uh, send people alerts before they exceed their voice or data or text limits. And what we received today was a commitment from the wireless industry to do just that, to provide consumers alerts, uh, to empower consumers so that we can all uh, manage our monthly bills and not be shocked by very large charges. Once the FCC had announced its intention to move ahead on this, did the industry see eye to eye with the commission on what needed to be done? Well, we had very healthy discussions. We were very clear about what we thought uh, would be fair to consumers. Uh, our focus was on harnessing technology to empower consumers with information. Uh, we had discussions about issues, for example, uh, should an alerting mechanism be opt-in or opt-out? And one of the victories today for consumers is that uh, the new alerts uh, will not require an opt-in. They will be automatic. Uh, and if you're in danger, if you come close to hitting a limit, you'll be alerted and you'll have a chance to act. Did the agency, did your commission have in mind certain baselines that the industry was going to have to hit in order to make this agreement without you having to move to regulation? Uh, yes, and, and, and those baselines were, um, uh, were part of the announcement today, uh, uh, alerting people uh, before and after they exceed limits for voice, for text, for data, uh, or when they're traveling internationally on international roaming and are about to incur much higher international roaming charges. And when is this uh, going no, to uh, start? Let me just mention a couple uh -huh. of other things. The other, the other pieces where the alerts should be free, and as I mentioned, uh, uh, they shouldn't require an opt-in. They should be automatic. And how long till people start getting a buzz in their pocket and look and see that, lo and behold, it's their carrier telling them they're about to hit one of their limits? Well, that'll depend on the carrier. Some will start very soon. Uh, uh, at the long end, it may be 12 to 18 months. Uh, some of the carriers have uh, systems to change and upgrade. But what we're going to do starting right away together with Consumers Union is put up a website where we will be tracking what the different carriers are doing so that consumers will know uh, and so that uh, we'll uh, see some competition among the carriers to provide this kind of service to consumers as quickly as possible. When you're in a situation like this, when you've allowed industry to move ahead before the federal government does, do you have to keep that regulation in your hip pocket? in case it doesn't proceed as planned, in case one of the big players in the industry doesn't move ahead as you understood? Well, that's why we're monitoring, and that's why we said we would keep this proceeding on hold. Uh, if, there, if we don't see compliance with these commitments, we will act. Now, we expect that there will be compliance. Consumers want it. It makes sense 
uh, technology makes it easy to offer these uh, upfront alerts. So we don't anticipate problems, but we'll be watching closely and we'll act if we have to. You know, when you look at these different kinds of communication, voice, text, data, uh, it might be easy to keep track of your minutes, even of the number of times you text or the number of characters you text. But boy, uh, data plans often have certain limited numbers of megabytes across a month. And if you watch a couple of YouTube videos or, or check your, your portfolio or something, it's hard to know how much data you're downloading into that little device in your pocket. Is it easy to keep track of that? Well, it, it, this is exactly why alerts are so important. People have an intuitive sense uh, of minutes. Uh, no one really knows uh, how uh, quickly you're getting to a megabyte limit. And it's one of the reasons why so many people had these charges and why these alerts made so much sense. Now, there's no question about it. All of the stuff that's going on is very exciting. So all of the uh, services, apps that we're getting with uh, data and data plans uh, are providing enormous benefits to consumers, are helping our economy. We're leading the world in mobile innovation. Uh, this is a big plus for our economy and will become only more so as time goes on. Uh, what we're seeing here is that this is an area where we can both have tremendous benefits and services for consumers, a plus for our economy and job creation, and treat consumers fairly at the same time. Julius Janikowski is the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Ray.